is gonna be an exciting vlog by the way please excuse my mic and also excuse my face um i haven't really showered yet I'm gonna be showering after this because i'm ready but yon, i'm so excited as you guys can see from the title of this video today i am finally traveling outside of the country it's my first time and if you have been subscribed to my channel for a long time now you would i feel like you guys have witnessed yung mga first ko when i was finally earning my own money dun ko palang talaga na experience to travel Nang naka airplane, I went to local destinations, and this time it's gonna be my first time to travel outside of the country. And since it's my first time, dun mo natay sa malala, sa malalapit. So today I'm gonna be going to Taiwan with my boyfriend, Sigads, and I'm excited but also a little nervous. I mean, I follow a lot of travel groups, they have uh, immigration stories na medyo strict daw yung immigration when it comes to self employed or freelancers. Unlike like people who are part of a company, may backup na talaga sila. Whereas ako, I might be um, presenting a lot of documents, but I am confident na okay naman. Pleto naman yung documents ko. I'm registered sa BIR. I have my income tax returns, uh, my bank certificate mga ganon. Basta kompleto naman ako. Pero hindi ko yun ilalabas. Katulad ng mga sinasabi ng iba. Hangat hindi hinihingi, wag mo ipakita. Pero ay, basta nagpa-practice na lang din ako. I'm gonna walk there confidently. I'm gonna answer, what's your work? I'm a content creator. Ah! <laughs> content creator po, shout out. Pero, hindi. <laughs> I'm not really sure about the weather in Taiwan kasi parang medyo paiba-iba siya. Last week, it was super sunny daw. Tapos nung week before that, medyo may snow. Tapos ngayon, parang ang lamig. So, hindi ko talaga alam kung anong i-impake ko. But, um, since dalawa kami ng boyfriend ko, we have two 7 kilo na free. Tapos, of course, nagpa-add ako ng baggage allowance kasi we'll be there for um, six days. Basically, we'll be in Taiwan on February 28th. Tomorrow na ng 1 a.m. Tapos, makaka-uwi kami on March 4. So, you guys do the math. I think six days yun. Ta-da! Yay! So, this is the luggage that I bought. So happy with this purchase because I feel like it's also me manifesting more travels for myself. And then I have here my 7 kg luggage. Para siyang treasure chest. And I bought some cubes, packing cubes on Shopee. I'm gonna put a link for this in the description box. This is my cabin size luggage. <laughs> Chilling here. Nilagay ko yung mic ko. My time check, it's 8.44. Boarding time is at 10.15. Expecting sa Taiwan. I'm expecting good food. So, dun sa immigration counter, I showed my boarding pass and then my passport. Then they started asking the questions. So, first was, where was I going? I said, Taipei, Taiwan. Who was I going with? Tapos sabi ko yung boyfriend ko na tinuro ko na lang kasi katabi ko lang si Gads. And then, um, she asked me kung anong work ko. I said, content creator. And saan daw ako nagpo-post? I said, all over. Pero yung main ko talaga is YouTube and Instagram. Tapos, pinakita ko sa kanya yung YouTube ko kasi hiningi niya. And then, that was basically it for me. Tapos, nagsistamp na siya. And then, we did just a little bit of chat na first time niyo, ganyan-ganyan. Sabi ko, yes. And saan na daw akong local destinations na opunta? Sabi ko, Boracay, Palawan. And then, she said, I was free to go. So, yeah, that was basically it for me. Um, but the next time na magta travel ulit ako, I will be preparing the same documents, you know, just in case. Kasi you'll never know. You see mine, it's there. You <laughs> bigat. Okay, so after getting our luggage, we went straight to the immigration. And yung ipapakita mo lang doon is yung arrival card na binigay ng mga flight attendant during the flight. Um, it's either that or if you have filled the online version of that, sa phone mo, pakita mo lang yung phone mo. Siguro just a reminder to patiently wait for your turn. Don't use your phone too much. And fall in line properly. 
But basically, papakita mo lang yun doon, tapos pipicturean ka nila, and then fingerprint scan, and then you're free to go. Please, let me win. Pagpasok namin, derecho, pinuntahan namin yung Lucky Land and yung nanalo. Akala ko nga games yun, yung parang padamihan ng pindot, pero hindi pala, talo pala ako. Pwede kayo mag-register ulit. Now let's talk about the money. In our case, nag-withdraw kami malapit dun sa Lucky Land. So yun na lang yung gawin yung landmark. Tapos kapag nakita nyo tong spot na to, dyan kami nag-withdraw. And then we didn't have a go time card. I highly suggest that you guys get one of those. Kasi kapag nag-withdraw kayo, walang charge. Kami kasi ginamit namin, BPI card namin mismo. Tapos diretso currency na ng Taiwan yung nare-receive namin. So meron siyang charge. Ang 200 pesos yung lumabas sa bank namin. 200, 250. So yun, malaking bagay din yun. So you know, get a go time card or a GCash card. I'm not really sure if you guys can hear me because there's a lot of people here na I think are also waiting for their check-in time sa hotel nila. So, baka mag-stay pa sila dito. Yeah, this is our official first day here. And we'll try to get some sleep. Siguro two hours. Extra snacks. This is Salmon Roe. R-O-E. Seafood salad. So, we got two drinks. This is just water. This one is... What is this? Fin. Masarap yung tubig nila dito. I like it. This is the food. Mmm. Ito ko yung parang sali na. Top to. Ito. If I'm gonna be super honest, hindi pa talaga kami nakakapag-book ahead of time nung mga North Tour ganun or ng pocket wifi sa cloak, eSIM, hindi pa talaga. Kaya nung nasa airport kami, yun yung inintindi namin. Well, we also had a lot of time to kill anyway. But we ended up going for a pocket wifi. We booked it via cloak. And if you're gonna ask us though, we feel like an eSIM is better. That is if your phone is compatible with an eSIM. Kasi pwede ka makapag-book sa Uber and you can also use yung mga bikes nila. Na para sa akin convenient sana eh kung nag-isim kami. But yon after namin i-pick up yung pocket wifi namin doon sa cloak booth, same floor lang siya doon sa Lucky Land. Bumaba na kami, tapos may 7-Eleven doon sa baba. Bumili ako ng Easy Card. And this was 120 NTD. I also bought some bus tickets using the Easy Card. Ito ay papunta doon sa hotel namin, 36 NTD. This is our bus. Tapos every time na lumalagpas, sinasabi ng bus. Shush! Shush! Way, way! Wait nga! Tada! We are here! Sakto pala eh! Okay, where is the pedestrian lane? Santa's Hotel. Hopefully they allow us to check in early. Medyo malayo yung iikutan namin, guys. Wow, pwede tayo mag-bike! Hello, everyone! So, nilagay na namin yung luggages namin sa hotel. Bawal pa daw mag-early check-in. So, yung kain talaga namin mag-UPM. Nakatulog pa ba? Yeah. Ayan. 30 minutes. Oh, sakto lang. But, I am energized. And nagpalit na ako ng outfit para... Let's 
kasi alam niyo, dapat nag-book pa rin kami nung isang araw. Tapos nag-late check-in na lang kami. Pero yun, ang mahal kasi nung early check-in, may, may ad siya na 1,000 Taiwanese dollars per hour na OA, ang mahal nun te. So, we decided to just leave our luggage and wait for our check-in time. Hindi namin nasunod yung itinerary. We ordered some snacks here. Got milk tea and sandwich. Yay! Okay, guys. So, nandito kami ngayon sa palengke ata nila. And gusto kasi namin ng alam, something parang di burger alam mo yon so we got some vegetables here oh no it's okay it's okay it's okay ah yeah we got got some tofu eggplant mushroom bite mushroom that's rice tapos some soup and all of this is just seventy Taiwanese dollars so ito pala yung kanina order kami ng bread forty lang siya Dito. Tapos ito, 20 lang yung milk tea. Pero ang sarap. Bitignan, tignan mo yung milk tea nila. Ang mm. healthy na ito. This tofu. So, ang goal namin ni Gads ay try talaga kami ng mga food dito. We were supposed to go to an art museum, but we opted to just walk around the area. And actually, I think that's the beauty of traveling. Parang still having an idea where you wanna go, but also just letting your feet take you to places and try out things. Gano. This is where we ate. Sa loob siya ng Lanju Market. And grabe, sobrang ganda ng panahon. Ayan, pasok tayo sa Binondo. And that we did. We decided to just let our feet take us to places. And it led us to this food stall. A lot of people were lining up for this. A lot of locals. And we wanted to order this one specifically. Pero I don't know what happened. But they served us ulam and itong rice. Language barrier, I guess. Pero our meal was pretty good. I think this was just 35 Taiwanese dollars. And nung mga first meal namin ni Gads, since we're expecting na we're gonna be eating a lot of food, Nagsha share na lang kami. But yeah, this was a pretty good meal. We're gonna be going to Confucius Temple. It's just right there. Hindi na namin super sinunod yung itinerary namin, but no regrets at all. I really enjoyed how we decided to spend our day. It was a slow day, and the good kind of start to the six-day travel. It really involved a lot of people watching and just appreciation for everything, I guess. Um, coming from the airport, riding the bus, appreciating the view from our bus, and then from our hotel, walking around, appreciating the streets, how wide it is, how clean it is, and seeing people just, you know, go about their day, do their usual. It was just a nice sight to see. Very refreshing. Sarap lang, alam mo, i-enjoy yung weather. It was a good balance. Maaraw, pero malamig. Just people watching, really, it really made my day. Parang seeing people smile and just do their stuff. Medyo tumagal kami sa park na to, but just imagine, parang sitting down, closing your eyes, Tas maririnig mo yung chirp ng ibon, tas yung tubig, and then a little bit of people's voices laughing, talking, and then you open your eyes, tas mafi feel mo yung lamig ng hangin, tapos yung naririnig mo yung mga bike ganun. Stand sort of sa feeling. I was super happy to just be there, you know, feel and be in the moment. But of course, sa din kami, kaya bumalik kami sa hotel. Hello guys, time check, it is 11.28 and I am so sleepy. I think you can tell. Gabi yung mata ko. Past hours, kami ay kumain. I think we spent a good amount of time just people watching. Kayo, now we are back at the hotel to rest our feet and to get some rest. Matutulog kami dito sa table kasi hindi kami mga pag early check-in pa rin. But yeah, grabe yung mga grabe yung eye bags ko sobrang lala na but What? Come on, you know. I'm so sleepy, bro. Tara na ba? Okay, okay. 
By the way, we're here at Datong District. Here's where it looks like. Parang palengke nila. Tapos may mga ukay. Now, I think this is a new site sa mga Taiwan vlogs. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I know it's not super grand. It's not a tourist spot. Pero I wanted to show this part. I don't know, but I really enjoyed my time here. Just a spot na yan. I don't know, maybe it's because it felt familiar in a way. Um, if you guys have been watching me for a very long time now, you would know that one of my favorite places to be is Quiapo. Because growing up, I was mag-ukay there. And it felt like my scene, this place. Parang alam mo sa Quiapo na scenario, yung may ukay, tapos may food trip, tapos may palengke. Parang mix siya in one place. Wala lang tayong park doon, pero it, it just felt nice to be, parang to see their version of that, but cleaner. We bought some fried rice with kimchi. Tapos, itong mix na to, chicken. 60, 60 na lahat to, tapos to 50. 60 to 50. So, 110 lang lahat na to. This is good for two people. Ito ng kapal niya, ang dami. So, it was nice to be there. It was nice to just see how simple it can be, but also how special it can be for someone who's new there, which is me. Simula pala, kasi hindi kami napapagod maglakad. As in, hindi ko alam kung nakailang steps na kami. But nagulat kami kasi nandun na kami bigla sa isa sa mga places na gusto ko puntahan. Tatlo kasi yung gusto ko talaga. Daan District, Datong District, and Zongshan District. Mainly because it felt like my scene, you know, cafes and aesthetic places. Let me tell you the moment that I realized na nandun kami sa isa sa mga place na nilulok forward ko puntahan. Supposedly, this was our third day dapat na pupuntahan. I was really excited but also nalungkot ako kasi yung outfit ko dyan. It wasn't part of the outfits na prinano ko. Dapat maganda outfit ko dito. But since we were there already, um, we decided to just enjoy the place na. So, on that note, let me show you guys around. Japan surplus or Oh, it's here. 
we are finally back in the hotel and it's time for us to check in. <laughs> We have here a bathtub. This is the bathroom mirror. It's nice and well lit. Here we have a closet. Ta-da! May refugito. Kettle. Organizing the closet. I'm gonna put here my sneakers and my blazers, my jackets. Para hindi sila magusot. And so that it's easier to grab. And then my bags, I'm gonna put them there. Hello everyone and good evening. Nakapagpay na kami ni Gus. Actually, si Gus lang. Nakapag ka sa ano? Sa lisha. Big Mark. Because it's no. Outfit for tonight is just something parang comfortable lang and maluwag. So this skirt, black top, um, yung jacket ni Gads kasi sobrang lamig ngayon sa gabi. And then comfy sneakers, New Balance. This is it. Yeah, may nabato pa na bus driver sa amin guys kasi hindi hindi namin alam dapat pala tag isa kayo na easy card eh kasi nga nung sa airport diba isa lang yung easy card namin for two people na yung nabili naming ticket <laughs> sinungita kami ng isang bus buti na lang yung mga passengers mabait tinaruan kami kaya namin ganun na for the rest of our trip buti na lang may coins kami so binayaran namin yung isa using coins kaya yeah, for dinner we decided to go to Ningxia Night Market to film an outro anymore but that will be all for the part one of this taiwan vlog there's only gonna be two parts and part two will be a little bit more lengthy so i hope that you guys watch out for that because it really has been an adventure and before i bid farewell i just want to say thank you for clicking on this video for supporting my vlogs and you guys are the reason why i'm able to travel so thank you so much but yeah, that will be all for today. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.